I'm back with the best beef jerky recipe I've ever made in my life. And not only do you get the beef jerky, but you get this spice mix. This is a chili pickle spice. All right, first step, get your flank steaks. And what we're gonna do is throw them in the freezer for about 45 minutes to an hour. And it's gonna help them thicken up, tighten up, freeze up a little bit. You know what I'm trying to say. And it's gonna be easy to slice, super thin. So let's throw these in the freezer. All right, get you a big pot of water and we're gonna get it boiling. I'm gonna add in my Chipotle's, Arbol chilies for heat. Let's go in with the chili maledo. How about a couple pasillas? Lastly, a bunch of anchos. Let them keep cooking. All right, our peppers have been hydrated. Let them cool off, get you a cold bowl of water. Take that pepper, dip it into the cold water, pull out the stem and the, get the seeds out. Look how on this pepper, the skin peels right away from the pulp. That's what we want. We want to get down to just the pulp and get rid of this. So there is your straight pulp with no skin. That's what you want. You can see the Chipotle pepper is not as easy, but what you can do is get rid of those seeds. With the Arbos, we go in with seeds and all. All right, first step, add the pepper pulp. Here I have four whole pickles. Give them a little head start. And we'll go ahead and add all that pickle juice. We're gonna add a lot of garlic, not just one of these little packs. We're gonna add one, two, three, four. All right, so for some reason my phone cut out on me. I added just this much of the green onion, this part right here, the white part of a whole batch of green onions. I added one bottle of Andy's Original that's made by Earthquake Spices. This stuff is the bomb. And then, you missed it, but you can't ever have enough. I did about 20 pop pops of the Dan O Chipotle. Pop, 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 pop. I did that about 20 times. And now, we blend. Look at this consistency. That's what you're looking for. It's gonna marinate perfectly. That's crazy good. You could eat that just like that. All right. So they've been in the freezer a little over an hour. As you can see, now they're gonna be easy to slice. So you're gonna need a super sharp knife. I happen to know where one's at, right there. Look at that. All right, let's slice these up nice and thin. Just down and through. If you have a sharp knife, this is super easy. Perfect. Got me a big two gallon Ziploc bag. Just take all that meat, throw it right in. Now we add our juice. Nice and thick, just how we want it. Make sure you get all those pieces separated. We're gonna zip it up and let this sit overnight. All right, you guys. So it's actually been about 40 hours. Went over 24, it's 40 hours. There's nothing wrong with that. You can see this marinade is like a big clump in there. So it totally soaked up this flavor. It was quite a bit more liquidy when we put it in, and now you can see it's very thick. So we're just gonna run our fingers down, like I said, keep it on the edges, and lay our jerky out. You wanna keep some on those edges for sure, but you just don't want those big clumps. I mean, look how much I just took off of four pieces. All right, y'all, so I got five racks. You can see I carefully placed them. You don't wanna overlap anything. They're perfectly placed on there. But first, we're gonna go in with the Dano's Primo. Just a light dusting. You got all those good flavors in there. The sesame seeds, the black pepper. So just give it a light dusting, just like that. Like I said, it's not too much. Just enough to give it a little character. All right. And so I'll continue to load these in. We're gonna go in at 160. I'm gonna leave the house for a little bit. So I'll probably be back in three to four hours. And they should be pretty close to done because they're not cut thick. But look at this, y'all. You think we're done with that? There's no way I'm throwing that in the trash. So check this out. Get some parchment paper. Make sure it's not wax paper. We go in with this chili pickle paste right onto our parchment paper. I got my oven set to 170 degrees. That's as low as it'll go. My dehydrator is at 160. The oven will go to 170. So we're just gonna spread this out as thin as possible. So now let's dehydrate this and then we'll turn it into a spice. Like I said, into our oven at 170. 
All right, so everything's done. Look at that, it's totally dry now. It's about another hour and 15 minutes. The jerky, I got a tummy ache right now because I've eaten like 15 pieces. I'm telling y'all what, it's the best jerky I've ever made. And I've made several batches of jerky and I've told you several times that that's the best jerky. That's the best jerky. And we blend them. And there is your homemade chili pickle seasoning. That's so good. But that's how you do that. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Y'all know I love you. Stay tuned. We're going to cook up some chicken with this. We'll see you next time. Keep sprinkling, my friends.